hands on the sun and the moon Like horses driven by kings They cover the mountains and the valleys below With the breath of your mighty wings All treasures of wisdom and things to be known Are hidden inside your in this fortunate turn of events You ask me to be your friend You ask me to be your friend And you, you are my first You are my last You are my from the effort of location and in Colossians 2 6 and 7 Paul gives us a very clear signal of what it's like to continuously follow Jesus and this is what he says and now just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord you must continue to follow him let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness and so Paul is saying hey, you trusted Jesus now you must continuously follow him. And so in all of your day-to-day and -day, all of your relationships, you must continuously follow him. You do this by letting your roots grow in him and drawing all of your life from him and building your lives on him. So just doing life the way that he designed it to be lived. And then he says you'll overflow with not generosity or uh, leadership or influence or even love. He says you're going to overflow with thankfulness, just this pure uh, interaction with the world, just a thankful heart for all that God has put in your life. And so isn't it funny then that our relationships often will draw out the opposite in us. And so as soon as we get triggered by whoever in our life we typically get triggered by, uh, we instantly build our lives upon our own reactions and then we overflow with literally anything other than thankfulness. And so what would it look like this year for you to, as you interact with the people around you, to allow them to exist exactly as they are. Allow them to exist exactly as they are. No, no excuses, no justifications, no, tr no clear, clearing anything up. Just be thankful that God has put them in your life exactly as they are. Because after all, that's exactly the way Jesus interacts with us. He, he moves towards us. He changes us. Uh, but he starts it from a spot where he accepts us just as we are. And so what would it look like, what would your holidays look like if you did that for the people around you this year?
Let's pray. Jesus, help our lives be built on you so that we can overflow with thankfulness. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.